everybody experiences stressful days, which is why it is so important to take time out and smell the roses. And speaking of stress, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to take you in, out in front of my front yard and introduce you to some of my closest friends just hanging out wild here in my rose garden. Stress wipes out your adrenals, which wipes out your vitamin C. One of the best ways to rebuild your adrenals is herbal vitamin C. And one of the highest sources of vitamin C are found right here inside this little rose. It's called a rose hip. They're the little pods that remain after the bloom fades. But we typically don't see them because we tend to prune them in order to encourage new growth at the end of the season. But if you leave them at the end of the season, you can actually harvest these pods. There are so many health benefits to rose hips. It's loaded with flavonoids flavonoids, carotenoids, polyphenols, and a lot of other phytochemicals, which is why it is in Marcus's vitamin C formula, of course. These rose hips are such a strong antioxidant, they are praised for their anti-cancer properties as well. There are so many benefits to not cutting these beautiful blooms after they've faded. And as soon as the season's over, we are going to harvest these rose hips. But for now, we're just enjoying the beauty of them. Um, all parts of the rose are edible as long as they're not sprayed with chemicals. You can pluck those beautiful petals, make a tea out of them, dry up the petals, powderize them, sprinkle them on all your foods. And another thing I really like to do with my rose petals is leave them all over the bedroom and on the bed. It's beautiful. But you know, you can also steep it in tea, but the most important reason to take another look at this is because, like I said, I can't stress it enough, rose hips are one of the highest forms of natural vitamin C. They're loaded with antioxidants. Everybody should be consuming rose hips somehow in your diet. I just can't wait to harvest them next season. Birds enjoy them too. You know, rose hips are related to the apple plant, which is why they resemble that plant so much. Um, just a lovely, beautiful, and nutritious, and lovely smelling flower that God gave us, so we should be using it. So here we are, we got lovely vitamin C from rose hips, one of the most highest sources of vitamin C available, and we all need vitamin C. My roses and I are thrilled that you joined us here today. Got to be reminded of how these little guys just aren't so beautiful to the eyes and heavenly to the nose, but they're also very vital to good health. So remember, stop and smell those roses. Bye guys, we'll see you in the next video.